జవహర్లాల్ నెహ్రూ ద మ్యాన్ ఆఫ్ డెస్టినీ జవహర్లాల్ నెహ్రూ వాజ్ అన్ ఇండియన్ స్టేట్స్ మ్యాన్ హూ వాజ్ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఫ్రమ్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ టు నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ హీ వాజ్ ద లాంగెస్ట్ సర్వింగ్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ హీ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద లీడింగ్ ఫిగర్స్ ఇన్ ద ఇండియన్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ మూమెంట్ నెహ్రూ వాజ్ ఎలెక్టెడ్ బై ద కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ టు అస్యూమ్ ఆఫీస్ యాజ్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఇండియాస్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ and re-elected when the Congress party won India's first general election in 1952. As one of the founders of the non-aligned movement, he was also an important figure in the international politics of the post-war era. He is frequently referred to as Pandit Nehru and specifically in India as Pandit Ji. Nehru became a leader of the left wing of the Congress party when still fairly young rising to become Congress president under the mentorship of Mahatma Gandhi Nehru was a charismatic and radical leader advocating complete independence from the British empire in the long struggle for indian independence in which he was a key player Nehru was eventually recognized as Gandhi's political head Jawaharlal Nehru was born to Motilal Nehru and Swarup Rani in a Kashmiri Pandit family Nehru was educated in India and Britain in England he studied in independent boys schools Harrow and Trinity College Cambridge on 8th February 1916 Nehru married 17 year old Kamala Kaul. In the first year of the marriage, Kamala gave birth to their only child, Indra Priyadarshini. Born to rich aristocratic parents, Jawaharlal left everything and joined the freedom struggle under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. His resolute spirit and dynamic personality made him a leading figure of the Indian National Congress. He did a lot to steer the national movement on its right course. Nehru was one of the most prominent members of the Constituent Assembly. Nehru headed an interim government which was impacted by outbreaks of communal violence and political disorder and the opposition of the Muslim League led by Muhammad Ali Jinnah who were demanding a separate Muslim state of Pakistan After failed bids to form coalitions Nehru reluctantly supported the partitions of India He took office as the Prime Minister of India on 15th August and delivered his inaugural address titled A Tryst with Destiny In his famous resolution introduced in the assembly on December 13, 1948, Nehru underlined the goals of the Indian Constitution. The resolution was unanimously adopted on January 22, 1949, and the skeleton of the Indian Constitution was thus born. Nehru was a socialist at heart, who inspired by the concept of a planned economy declared that the foremost goal of India should be economic progress. Under him, India embarked on the five-year plan launched in the year 1951 immediately after independence under Nehru's dynamic leadership was a phenomenal success and propelled India into the path of self-reliance. Nehru pursued land redistribution and launched programs to build irrigation canals, dams and spread the use of fertilizers to increase agricultural production. He also pioneered a series of community development programs aimed at spreading diverse cottage industries and increasing efficiency into rural India. While encouraging the construction of large dams which would help in irrigation works and the generation of hydroelectricity Nehru also launched India's program to harness nuclear energy 
although the indian economy enjoyed a steady rate of growth called hindu rate of growth at 2.5 percent per annum chronic unemployment amidst widespread poverty continued to plague the population jawaharlal nehru was a passionate over education for indian children and youth believing it essential for india's future progress his government oversaw the establishment of many institution of higher learning including all india institute of medical sciences the indian institute of technology and the indian institute of management nehru also outlined a commitment in his five year plans to guarantee free and compulsory primary education to all of india's children for this purpose nehru oversaw the creation of mass village enrollment programs and the construction of thousands of schools nehru also launched initiatives such as the provision of free milk and meals to children in order to fight malnutrition adult education centers occasional and technical schools were also organized for adults especially in the rural areas under nehru the indian parliament enacted many changes to hindu law to criminalize caste discrimination and increase the legal rights and social freedoms of women as india's first prime minister and external affairs minister jawaharlal nehru played a major role in shaping modern india's government and political culture along with sound foreign policy he is praised for creating a system providing universal primary education reaching children in the farthest corner of rural india nehru's educational policy is also credited for the development of world class educational institutions such as the all indian institute of medical sciences indian institutes of technology and the indian institute of management nehru was ruled by the spirit of democracy and freedom he was the world's greatest democrat when his contemporaries seized power and became dictators in their countries nehru was the only leader who faithfully followed the principles of democracy in india a country which was in the throes of poverty illiteracy and communal tension nehru's idea was imprinted in the historic doctrine of panchil and the indian foreign policy world peace decolonization disarmament and equitable economic development are some of the concepts expressed by panchil nehru visualized an era of equal status and freedom for all states and countries and freedom from the bonds of class domination under the inspiring and resolute leadership of nehru the non aligned movement became a recognizing force it carried out a vigorous struggle against violation of human rights nehru had led the congress to a major victory in the 1957 elections but his government was facing rising problems and criticism the election of his daughter indra as congress president in 1959 aroused criticism for alleged nepotism Nehru believed in maintaining cordial relations with India's neighbors. He despised war and so when India was attacked in the 1970s by China and Pakistan, Nehru in a national broadcast declared, "We have been cheated against our will. We have to take up arms in the honor of India." The non-alignment movement itself seems to have lost its sense of direction and purpose the term non aligned has become ambiguous and most feel that the non alignment movement can play no role in world politics in today's unipolar world jawaharlal nehru was one of the greatest captains of freedom struggle a man who was next only to gandhi ji in his contribution to the shaping of the struggle He gave it a rational and modern basis 
a secular and economic bias and a truly international outlook. Then for 17 years, he was free India's first Prime Minister and whatever the controversies over certain policies, it cannot be denied that he laid the foundation of our democracy, our secularism and of our policy towards the rest of the world. Jawaharlal Nehru had high ambition for his people. He was one of the most courageous of men, one of the noblest, one of most intelligent and one of the most energetic of men. He was a combination of all these and other qualities in a rare degree and he was thus one of the finest instruments of historical forces the world has known. In his lifetime, Jawaharlal Nehru enjoyed an iconic status in India and was widely admired across the world for his idealism and statesmanship. His birthday, 14th November, is celebrated in India as Bal Devas, that is Children's Day, in recognition of his lifelong passion and work for the welfare, education and development of children and young people. Children across India remember him as Chacha Nehru. Nehru remains a popular symbol of the Congress party which frequently celebrates his memory. Congress leaders and activists often emulate his style of clothing, especially the Gandhi cap and his mannerisms. Jawaharlal Nehru dominated the Indian political scene for about half a century. Together with Mahatma Gandhi and other, he fought and struggled hard for the freedom of India. He spent the best period of its youth in imprisonment. It was a sincere work for peaceful coexistence and faith in democratic socialism which made him popular with democratic nations as well as the communist states. Nehru suffered a stroke followed by a heart attack in May 1964. Although doctors have tried hard to save him, their efforts were not successful. Jawaharlal Nehru died in the early hour of 27th May 1964. Politicians openly wept as party leaders paid tribute to the man who has led India since independence from Britain 17 years ago. The news spread quickly through the streets and thousands of ordinary Indians began to converge on Mr. Nehru's mansion in New Delhi. Within two hours of the announcement, tens of thousands of people had gathered and the truckloads of police took up position outside the grounds to control the rapidly growing crowd. Mr. Nehru's body was moved from his first floor bedroom down to a makeshift bier in front of the house. Then began a long procession which lasted through the rest of the evening and into the night as nearly 2,50,000 men, women and children have participated to pay their respect. India's man of destiny, Jawaharlal Nehru, was well known throughout the world and in his own country. Today, his countrymen enshrine his memory in their hearts, remember him with the poignant sense of loss. For his personality was so complex and made up of so many facets that none could easily comprehend all his great qualities at once.